Now, I've been talking a little bit about economics as if this is ultimately kind of an economic debate, uh, but it's really not. If you look at the identity socialism in America today, and particularly on the campus, I mean, obviously the campus is a quasi-socialist operation anyway. And what I mean by quasi-socialist is simply the fact that by and large, by and large, the consumer, you, are not directly always the guy paying. Sometimes it's your parents, sometimes it's the government through loans. There's a very complex system of financing. And by and large, prices in any economy always become distorted when that's the case. This is, by the way, why our healthcare system is messed up. Why is it messed up? Because the guy who gets the service is not the guy who's paying. That messes anything up. Let's, let's give an example that will make the whole thing clear. Consider the idea, well, healthcare is a right. Well, okay, healthcare is a right. Isn't there a right to eat? Isn't food a right? Well, yeah, food's a right. Okay, fine. Food's a right. So let's now have a, have a right in which when I go to the grocery store, I can fill up my cart with whatever I want, whatever I need. I show up at the counter and it's insured. It's like Obamacare. It's like Medicare for all. Somebody else will pay because after all, eating is a right. So what's going to happen? Let's follow this through. If I go to the grocery store and eating is a right, and I can basically help myself, I'm going to load up my cart. You know, I usually buy four bananas, I'll buy 12. I usually buy one carton of milk, I'll buy 10. Why? Because I'm not paying. And then I show up at the counter. I'm really happy. I've got a lot of stuff. Now, we have to realize that the same kind of thinking is going on on the other side of the counter. The person behind the counter goes, hey, this dude isn't paying. So when I ring up the prices, Dinesh is not going to care because he's not going to pay. So what do I do? The price of milk, which was $2.25, now becomes $25. And the price of bananas goes up to $100 a dozen. Why? Because some other idiot who's not even here is going to get the bill. He doesn't even know it. It's wonderful. So if you really think of what's going on in this transaction, it's very simple. It's actually a collusion between a customer and a retailer to rip off the third man who's not present, who is actually the taxpayer. The third guy who's not present in the store is being ripped off by both these guys. Why? Because they are ultimately looting him knowing that there's no accountability on their part. That's what's going on in healthcare. You go into the doctor, let's run 18 tests. Oh really, go for it doc. No one ever thinks of asking, how much is this test gonna cost? Is it really necessary? I just had the test three months ago. Nobody thinks about it. Why? Because they're not paying. That's the key point.